Okay, so I know I promised to do a uh, little step-by-step -step painting thing, and uh, it's about time I got one done. So this is the drawing, and I went ahead and put some spray fixative on it so that the drawing itself wouldn't smudge off. Now, what we want is to go ahead and put a base color. So when it's done, we'll have something that looks similar to to this right here. These are over here on the side draw, drawing a little bit. Now, what I did was I mixed up some quick acrylics and just some cheap acrylics for a base color. Um, I add a little bit of this uh, slow dry blending medium. What that does, it, it kind of slows it down so it doesn't dry quite as fast because these cheaper craft acrylics tend to dry really quickly. They're not, you know, it's, they don't last as long as like golden colors, but you know, for doing a whole bunch of quick paintings, they're really good and they're really inexpensive. And I recommend that anybody that wants to start uh, painting with these. So I'll add a few drops. Um, I'm just painting on this scrap piece of uh, waxy paper just so, to hold the paints real quick while I throw some bases down. Um, with a long white flat brush, I went ahead and just mixed them up, mixed them with the retarder with uh, some base acrylic so I get a nice dark kind of orangey color. And I'm using this mulberry and a pumpkin color and a little bit of red. Um, so just, you know, just whatever acrylics I had laying around. Um, I didn't really want to go out and spend too much to, to get a whole new set of acrylics. It's been so long since I painted with them that most of my other ones have somehow been left uncapped and dried. But anyway, so this is the actual drawing. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and just start putting some base colors down. And you'll see why I used a retarder in a little bit. Um, now I can see the drawing underneath this kind of translucent wash. And see, I'm kind of just spreading out real quick, trying to get some haphazard strokes going to give it a little more chaotic horror feel. Um, so don't worry about following the contours at this point. And so you can see it's pulling back some of the color because of the retarder. It's not um, allowing it to set in and dry. And the actual, the the, uh, the spray fixative that I used created this kind of float over it. So that the, the colors right now are floating on top until they kind of dry and, and adhere to it. So right now as they're floating, I can go ahead and add a little bit of a darker blacks and stuff to some of the, the outlines from the shadow areas. Um, a little bit of the, the shadow areas and the zombie. What you don't want to do is you don't want to build too thick where you can't see the drawing underneath because that's going to play an important role in a little bit. So what I like to do is I'll, I'll put this down and kind of let it start to grasp a little bit. Kind of clear this off. Clean off your brush a little bit and just wipe off some of the excess paint and water. And then in some of the areas where I need to be able to see the detail, I'll go back in and just start you know, lifting like around the eyes. See how you can see the eye a little bit better now? And I don't know if you can tell on this one right here, the eye got lost in some of the, the darker floating paint. So as I go in, I'll kind of lift that back up so I can see the eye a little bit. And just, you know, the areas where I need to, I'll go ahead and start pushing it around there. Um, and with the brush, since it's, you know, clean, I'll go in and I'll pull up some of that, you know, give it kind of a horror kind of texture to it. So see how it's got that kind of scary, I don't know, weird um, textures floating around. As you see, as it dries, it starts to gel a little bit because of the medium, and it gets a little bit thicker. And when you pull it off, instead of being a smooth pull like this, it's going to give you some of these peelings and kind of chunks of the gel kind of coming off. And we want that because that's going to give us a little bit of texture later on. Let's see, let me actually clean off some of this area right here. I'll blend that, kind of thin it out a little bit. Pull off some of the paint. And here you can tell it's starting to dry a little bit like around the mouth area. So when I pull it, it actually creates more of a, a texture. Now when you go over it later on, you dry brush, it'll actually catch some of that texture on it. So when you put the opaque colors, it'll give it a nice uh, little effect. And you can tell it's kind of happening here with the gelling. And pull some of that, see how it's starting to pull the gel off. So, so you can tell I'm actually scraping gel off at this point. Um, and get some on the neck area. See how it's pulling off? See that kind of cool effect? That's kind of what we're going for right here. And so that's going to give it a nice texture. Let me kind of loosen the teeth here. So let me pull off the teeth a little bit. And you know, if you if you keep off too much, just kind of blend it back in a little bit. And again, you're just throwing base colors at this point. You want to just get some of the the underlying color to peek through. And uh, so. This one's a little more modeled than some of the other ones, but I wanted more of this rotting zombie flesh. So we're going to let this dry and we'll actually go ahead and start on one of the other ones that have dried up a little bit to see how that, that kind of works out. So again, here's, here's the Nosferatu one, which is the first one I laid down. You can see some of the effects in play here. 
So we're actually going to start working on this one in the next step. So anyway, that's the first part of, of getting the painting ready. This is how usually I approach it. Um, especially it works well for live art because this is a quick base color technique. Gets it drying. The retarder lets you add some effects to it before the acrylic dries. And the next step is actually putting the opaque paints on there. So we'll do that one next. Thanks, guys.